Welcome to the show. We're going to watch some baggage. This is Janie. She's got a secret and it's hidden Janie. inside this red Tiny. bag. Did she fake infertility to break up with a boyfriend? Oh. Was she arrested for having sex in a public restroom? Oh. Or did she pawn her mother's jewelry to pay a gambling debt? Oh. We'll open up this bag and a whole lot more coming up on Baggage. Wow. Oh. It's brought to you by Blitzball Battle 2. Mm. Everyone watching this should go watch that and you should root for Team Baggage, which is Jake and myself. We were eliminated in the semifinals. No, the finals. We won the semifinals. We eliminated in the finals, looking for redemption. A whole lot of fun. It's good times. That third bag, baggage sounds like such made-up baggage baggage. Pawning jewelry to pay a debt. Like, I feel like the fake ones are always a debt. Gambling mm. debt. The first two are pretty bad, though. Not great. What was the second one? That felt more excusable. I killed my grandma or something like that. Wasn't. Hi, I'm Jerry Springer. And Hi, Jerry. Sex in a public bathroom. Yeah. She was young. Maybe she law. wasn't. Right now, let's meet our dater. She's a Benjamin Button model from San Antonio, Texas. Please welcome Janie. She is a fitness model from San Antonio. Very nice to have you on the show. Nice to meet you. So, yeah. uh, what kind of guy are you looking for? I'm looking for a guy who's funny and mm. somebody who's really active because I'm really into health and fitness. You're into health and fitness? Yeah, you for work sure. out all the time? Um, yeah, I do. Let's, I uh, let's see your guns here. Okay. If you insist. Ooh. Me and she this, pulls out me like and a, this uh, little Spitfire. Like water gun. Today. Okay. Him like, in the face. You know, all of us, they've got some baggage. Okay. Okay. Now, are you all fired up to meet him? I'm super fired up. I'm super fired up. Meet him. He's an account executive from. Uh, I, I, now I'm thinking she pulls out a gun that's got one of those flags that says bang. Looks like a water But instead of the, the flag saying bang on it, it's got a picture of her muscle. It's like a super layered. And then it's a picture of her flexing. That'd be for confusion. Good show. Oh, no. You look great. Thank you. So do you. Um, I'm a romantic and nurturing guy. I like fine dining, French restaurants, candlelight, the whole nine yards. Nice. Uh, if you pick me, I'll treat God, you. God, man, that's not his shirt nor his jacket. Whoa. So Baggage just has those V-neck sweaters oh, they give out. Know, See, I'm actually going to fight you on that. I think that's Casey. Well, he was like, oh, I actually have this one at home. But they gave it to him. Hey, Esteban. I'm from the land of Pura Vida, which means pure living. I'm all about living life to the fullest. So if you pick me, I'll add some spice or sabor to your life. Sabor. Oh. Do a little salsa with the maid. Yes. Oh. Okay. okay. Yes. So oh. Well. Yes. What makes her think okay. she likes salsa? And finally, he's a security guard from Decatur, Alabama. Let's hear it for Jack. Hey. Hi, Janie. I'm generous and loyal. I serve in the Army, and I'm all yeah. about protecting my woman. If you pick me, I'll show you how we can be all that we can be. Pause it. This is like if you're like an anonymous Game of Thrones henchman. See. Somehow got put on a show. I was this guy's not supposed to talk when he's on screen. I was going with girl meets guy at a bar. And he says, like, I kind of look like Jason Statham, and it's a dark bar, and she's had a few drinks, and then... Like the hound and meets then, Jason Statham. And then she meets him. She's like, yeah, we're actually going on a date. And yeah, kind of, not like Jason Statham, but like... And then she meets him again at the dinner, and he's like, oh. Oh, you think lights on. Trouble. I mean, I like his look okay. for him. Because look at those see, jeans. They brought a small, medium, and large bag, each holding <laughs> a personal secret, otherwise known as their baggage. <laughs> of course, the bigger the bag, Security the bigger guard. the baggage. Ready to go, man. This way, Janie knows before she chooses one of them what they're really like. So, gentlemen, <laughs> reveal your smallest piece of baggage. He was just Let's asking himself if he could beat up the other two guys. I was asking myself, too. <laughs> I always go Dutch on dates. Mm. Well, so much for the romantic, huh? Like, what about special occasions? What if it was my birthday? Would you expect us to go Dutch on my birthday, too? Uh, you know, it's 2010, and I yeah. feel like women yeah. have fought for the equality, no, and I want to respect that. So right. I think on the... Hi. Hi. You don't want to respect it, you're cheap. <laughs> 
So, you know, the first couple dates, I think it takes a little bit of earning respect. Dutch you know, means goes thing. split. So split, yeah. I, I think it's a two-way street. Okay, let's move <laughs> on down here. Now, the Dutch are super Esteban. Into Esteban. Oh, that's a hell of a first back. I love to lick belly button. Man. Win, win. That guy would hate my belly button. What does this <laughs> say about him? Um, he's a little freaky, <laughs> yeah. maybe. The slight dilemma. <laughs> can I tell you something? Mm-hmm. I'm a pretty silly cat. Zach, you can confirm over there if you want. You know, there's days around the office I'll do some some silly stuff. Mama, Mama said there'd be days like this. If Esteban came to lick my belly button, I'd say no, dude. Why? I don't I've want seen, that. I have videos of people taking shots out of your belly yeah, button. Yeah, but I, I don't want Just the vibe Esteban was giving me, like, I'm going to lick the shit out of that belly. Everyone else who's gone to the belly button wants to get out of there. Esteban no, has a stained deep. presence. Yeah, tongue punch. But I don't like that. I like that people come in and out. I think he, Esteban I, lingers at the belly button. I think you let him. Because you know. Here is, to. of all the body parts, that's the one that I like. When people touch it, it freaks me out. I think it's the sexiest part of a girl's body. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, there's good and bad ones. And if you have a hot belly button and you're dating me, and you know, i got to show some spice and some affection yeah. to it. Yeah. You know, on a scale of 1 to 10, do you think you have a sexy belly button? Or? Let me know what <laughs> I'm working with. You ask, most guys always tell me they like my belly button. I have a nice, cute, tiny little belly button. Do they have to at least be Show clean? Pants. It's a plus, but you know. <laughs> it's a plus. It's not necessary. Okay. <laughs> That's not mandatory. Okay. <laughs> Jack. Baggage. <laughs> All right, I'll follow belly button guy. Right, here okay. we go. Here's my <laughs> fucking baggage. <Okay>. Jack. <laughs> I carry chicken in my pocket. Protein. <laughs> what? Oh, that's awesome. You won't know whether that's a chicken in the pocket or he's just happy to see you. I know. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Are we going to go out to eat? Are we just going to be eating out of your pocket all the time? <laughs> this guy looks 10% melted. <laughs> Man, I'm always on the go, and I need my little hourly feedings or I get a little cranky. And it's also a good source of protein, so I can stay lean and mean, and I don't have to go to the fast food. <laughs> I have to say, this guy's I got so much chicken. sack in him. But I don't, know, but, but, um, <laughs> I don't know if you had to do that. How long has it been sitting in your yeah. pocket? Wait, a couple hours. You don't have to eat it. <laughs> you, you, not only do you not have to eat it, you're not welcome to eat it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a little strange. So we've seen their smallest. Dude, he's baggage. standing. <laughs> He's standing so weird, man. Like, it's like um, hip out, knees back. Like, <laughs> like, if you were to put him sideways, his, like. He looks like he just got hit in the back. He looks like his. Like, when you see an NFL lineman about to get rolled up on. Like, that's the, they just yeah. got hit, and they're like, oh, boy. Uh, yeah, he's just kind of like, he looks like a video game character. He's kind of standing there, <laughs> wobbling. Here. And we've heard their side of the story. And, but up next, it's our deal break around. And that's when Janie sees what's hidden in their medium-sized bags. Find out whose baggage falls Damn. off the truck when we come back. Are we rooting for Alabama security guard kind of broken guy? I want him around for more. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to make it. When Jerry says bag, to me, it sounds like when the Sanderson twins... Book. To get, I think he's like summoning the bags. I won't say the Sanderson. Inside the guy's smallest bags. We've got Casey, who always goes Dutch on dates. Is that what he looks like before? Esteban, who loves to yes. lick belly buttons. <laughs> and Jack, who carries chicken in his breast pocket. Rest. Janie, it's time for an even bigger piece of baggage. Now, this is the deal breaker round. Now, here in front of me are the guy's medium-sized bags, which I'm going to open. Now, they're placed here you randomly, like that he's explaining so it. Janie won't know which bag belongs when to When everyone that can watch this show for the first Janie's time figure it out. Janie's got a gun. Is, mm. well, then the Bang! Claims that bag Lag. will be Lair. going home. Another gun. All right, yeah. it's time to Picture reveal a gun this time. more yeah. baggage. Bag number one. I mean, we got to know so much more I'm context. My ex-girlfriend. Mm. What if she burned his house down? You don't want to break up with him. <laughs> Little lamb. Bag number two. But it's obviously the first guy. First guy. <laughs> it's obviously the first guy. 
Okay, Jason. <laughs> That's Jason. I snore like yeah, a man. The guy we that kind of looks like a bear. <laughs> like we assumed. We, no one thought you slept no. quietly. That's not baggage, man. That's just you. <laughs> and that's the Latin guy. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Quoting here. <laughs> My penis is crooked. Now, Jake, because this is the easy... <laughs> Let's get a good pause on that. <laughs> this is why we watch, people. Because this is the easiest layup of all time. Right. There needs to be a wrinkle. Do you so want to predict the wrinkle? Otherwise, everyone that's watching the show is yeah. guessing the same exact way we're guessing. So, here's my thing. Yeah. You know, when Baggage was doing this, maybe they said, like, hey, let's do an episode where, like, we just go head on and we see if people like that. Mm -hmm. Like, if people are playing at home and they like getting it right, yeah. let's try that for an episode. Because in my heart, I think the Baggage people are going to pull a fast one on us. If I had to guess what fast one it was, I would guess that Jason Statham is suing his ex-girlfriend. Yes, and that penis is crooked could also go to Casey, the first candidate. I'm hard-pressed, that guy's the real <laughs> guy. I mean, there's some physical stuff going on there that, yeah, but or I Jason, could also see Casey being like, I've, Jason's is so big, it's like it's got to go lean. somewhere. <laughs> you know, it has to take a turn eventually. Jason didn't know penis stuff was on the table for this show. He Putting just got here. taken aback <laughs> What's, what are your thoughts, huh? Yeah, all kinds of things are going through my head oh, right I now. Oh, I can imagine, yeah. Well, why yeah. don't we start here with, his penis is crooked. <laughs> okay. Well, I hear that's, you know, kind of common, I actually. I could make... But I want to know, like, is it a C? Is it an L? Like, how crooked is it? It doesn't matter okay. what letter it is. You just hope it's a capital. <laughs> Good point. That's right. In no. the middle here, we have, I snore like Capital's a bear. Z? My ex-roommate snored like a bear, and it was pretty rough, and we didn't even sleep next to each other. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm suing my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Would he sue me? Don't cut to me. Don't cut to me. Oh, they cut to me. Does she do something? Does she deserve it? Is she psycho? Um, I'm a little iffy about that one. Okay. Hey, you have no so idea. So I must ask you, so much more. which one of these is a deal breaker? Because Dude, I think she's going to go baggage, snoring. We'll be going home. Okay, um, this is kind of tough. You know what's kind of funny? What? Snoring once good, you're... Good pause. <laughs> snoring once you're in a relationship, people are like... You know, I mean, my dad's an awful I, Right. Like, if you have it, it's kind of like, okay, like, we yeah. have to deal with this. Yeah. There's different stuff, whatever. My dad did surgeries, didn't work, so... Going into dating and not knowing a person, and they... They snore a lot. That's kind of like, what well, that? I mean, I gotta really love this person, man. That's why you're not supposed to know that up front, right? Because once you figure it out, you should be pretty tethered. Deal breaker is, I'm suing my ex girlfriend. All right. Wow. Gentlemen, you kind of hate this currently. No, it's not because the there other could two, be layers. The other two, she didn't care, aren't that bad. So this has the potential to be the worst, easily. Yeah. All right, and now do the thing where you change and do the oh. change. Well, they're really selling it. Uh, oh, oh, they're really uh, selling it. Uh, yep. They had the full. Wow. So that, that was my wrinkle. They guess. had the alternate guess. What, what do you want to say? I'm suing her because she has my dog. You don't get between a man and his dog. It's, <laughs> it's done out of love, and love is worth fighting for. Sorry, I hope you get your dog back. I'm sorry, Jack, but it's time to pack yeah, up and go. Yeah, man. I mean, the military man whose dog has been stolen from him. He shouldn't worry because all of our... Now he's getting dumped over it. And now he got dumped over it. That stinks. Service, so maybe Jack will find someone who can handle... They shouldn't have made that as baggage. baggage. Maybe he was really you sad. Remain. We've got Casey, whose penis is crooked. And Esteban... Oh. Yeah. ...who snores like a bear. No, they had the full... Well, why don't you guys join me over on the hot seat, and we'll find out the stories behind your baggage. <laughs> You're lost because I was prepared 
to be with you today. I even packed you your own baggie of chicken. Welcome to the hot seat. I was earnest. There was a little part of that that was earnest. He was thought he was going on a date. Completely yeah. in the dark. Now, singles have just shared two big She's in a fitness. They, he, he might, like, wait for her after the show. So now and, like, see how this actually sorts baggages. out. What are your concerns about? <laughs> I guess I have to ask, you know, like, does it cause problems it's another in the good bedroom? Freeze I've got a capital J. Wow. Yeah. And capital <laughs> no J really way. No, I didn't mean that. <laughs> no capital way. Capital J would be like. That's, <laughs> that's got that's... the line at the top. Well, I guess even if you used your belly as the line at the top, or the story Ellie, yeah. and I mean a J, a J hooks all the way around. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. It's candy. J candy. does a 180. Yeah, yeah, it's candy. No candy. way it's a capital J. Yeah, yeah. So now let's go with Esteban. His baggage is he snores like a bear. And your concern there is a good night's sleep, huh? Absolutely. Have you done anything to try to help actually, that? Help? Actually, I have. I've had a couple surgeries, but it really hasn't helped. You know? Is that his voice so like before? I, you know, have that problem, but it's okay. Like, oh. could, could you give me a, a sample of well, like, like ten oh, how loud really? it really gets? I, I mean, I kind of need. I'm sorry, Esteban. I need it. I kind of okay. need to hear okay, it. Okay, okay. It kind of builds up. Are you fake you snore? Soon, no, it's Dude, coming. You're asleep. Yeah. You can snore on command. This is. I mean, <sighs> it keeps all right, Casey. Crooked Tell dick. her what's good about you. Hey. You want her to go out with you? Oh, well, we're selling. You know, I've lived in six different J. countries. I've traveled the world. Speak three different languages. Voice keeps so, getting you know, deeper and deeper. You date me, maybe you'll end up in, you know, in an island somewhere in Europe. And um, if you want to deal with a crooked J, you know, I feel I'm more like a capital I, you know, for like incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Capital I has the line at the top. Not all, I guess. Do some fonts not do the, the J I mean, and a capital the I? I. And I wanted to apologize to Casey, because if he does have a J and I'm making fun of it, I'm sorry. I want to get ahead of that. And why should she go out with you, Casey? Well, you know, I'm an all-American swimmer, and I love to hike and go snorkeling, and, and I volunteer for the homeless. So I do a lot of good stuff Dude, that I... So many I, times on baggage, they say shit that no one cares about besides high schoolers. <laughs> Who cares if you're 30 and an all-American swimmer? Yeah. Unless it's your career and you're getting paid handsomely to Some do it. Some good genetics there. People are into that. Breeding with a partner. Yeah, I guess some people are into that, but, like... Just say you're a really good, sw like, I'm active. Yeah. Like, his point sure, is I'm active. I'm passionate about and the other guy said I'm active. I can appreciate that. I'm if someone's, if, if he said I was a high school swimmer, you'd say, like, dude, we've got to move on. If you're an all-American high school swimmer, it's like, oh, you were elite at that. Sanitarian at heart you. as well, and I what enjoy being with somebody who's yeah. compassionate, so that's nice. It's all America, but that's the thing. Traveling the world yeah. and never <laughs> been with a guy who speaks three languages, I mean, that's pretty romantic. Yeah, but one of them is bear. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, we're going to see what's Snorks. in Casey and Esteban's big bag. Jerry was pretty happy And don't one. forget, Janie's got baggage, too. Hey, Did she fake infertility to break up with a boyfriend? I think so, man. Was she arrested for having sex in a public restaurant? Also, yeah, maybe. She's tiny. Or did she pawn her mother's jewelry to pay a gambling debt? No. One of these is. You never know, man. And I mean, this has been a reverse episode so far. Here with our date with Jamie, you know? a fitness model who is looking to shape up her love life. Now, these two guys are about to expose their biggest secrets hiding in these bags, and Janie will make her final decision. Will she oh. choose Casey, the crooked Dutch boy who knows how to treat a lady? Expose their biggest secrets hiding in these bags, and Janie will make That's her final name. decision. He thought will it was Will she choose Casey? The crooked Dutch boy who knows how to treat a lady. He's got a smile there. Oh, she played along nicely. Esteban, That's the good. The sleeper who spices up the bedroom. <laughs> Gentlemen, it is Not time to reveal That's your exciting. biggest piece Casey's going to have a nuke. Casey. My parents died when I was young. <laughs> ah. I was expelled from grad Bird school for baggage. plagiarism. I mean, there's different levels to it. That he's a is he just straight copying papers? Um, if he cheats on tests, does he cheat on women? Yeah. No. I don't know. And in grad school, like, grad school's not cheap. And he was willing to put it all on the line. Why didn't he just study a little harder? Janie, I had a paper due. I took some information from the internet. 
you know, an innocent act. I, it was a small slice, it was a paragraph, and the teacher was making an example of me for the other students. I was a victim of, you know, circumstances. I don't know. Esteban, <laughs> please yeah. reveal yeah. your baggage. Oh, that's fucked up. Mm. And it's kind of just like, I control yourself. You need an age, and you need a reason. Oh. Yeah. What's there, the there's, age? There's a formula. What's I mean, the age? Uh, well, it depends on the reason. If, like, I think you could probably go up to 21, early 20s if he's, like, she fucked his brother. Okay, I would allow that. Like, there's, you know, there's layers to it. Otherwise, you're hoping 18 under. 16 under, like, you really don't even know, know what you're doing kind of age. 15 under, I don't know. The key in a car is pathetic. It's like a very pathetic act. It's a young act. It should yeah. be a young act. Yeah. My gosh. That happened to me, actually. Really? Yes. Do you, does he look familiar? <laughs> <laughs> Your concern is that he's got a temper. Yeah, do you get angry easily? What happened? Yeah. Well, it was my first love, my first true girlfriend. What happened was she needed a new car. She was in love with this car. We went there together. We found it, finally got it. The next day, she broke up with me, broke my heart. And within a couple of days, she was dating somebody else, kind of throwing it in my face. It really broke my heart. It's still pretty yeah. tedious. Yeah, it's bad. Mm. They just... Well, there you go. He lost that Casey, final round. Casey, make final won. plea. Janie... I'm a humanitarian. I don't know. You're a humanitarian. Let's I didn't like him getting called a victim chance. for getting caught for plagiarism. That was a little far. Well, getting expelled it's for it is And he got emotional. And Esteban. Janie, you know, I'm looking for somebody that I can be loyal to, to explore the world with. You know, I'm active. I'm an athlete. I like to be outdoors. So if you want that with somebody, you know, I'm your person. I don't know. Casey just seems a little crooked in more ways than one. His cheating and his dude. It's time to choose. Will it be Casey who... I'm rooting for Esteban. I'm rooting for... I, I think everybody knows. Who's I like Casey. I liked him at the start. He lost me a little and bit. Was it's like Jim Carrey, Brad James Marsden. Mm. Or will it be Esteban who loves to lick Esteban's belly buttons? Louis so he like, snores like a bear. And who keyed his ex-girlfriend's nice car. Great smile. Janie. Loves the belly Send buttons. one of these guys like packing. Okay. I would let him lick my belly button now. I know. You would have from the start. I would have from the start. I'm sorry, Casey, but you just have too much baggage. It's a looks-based decision. His hair's not I'm doing sorry, Casey. Things. You're going looks? Looks-based decision. You know, I'm crooked in a lot of ways, but I'm a straight shooter. Oh. <laughs> It. Sorry, Casey. Fan of Jeff Passon. But congratulations, Esteban. Yes, yeah, what I thought about his article. <laughs> oh, don't get too happy just yet. <laughs> but congratulations, Esteban and Janie. He's excited. They're both wearing pink. Wow, she's tiny. Oh, don't get, get too, too happy, happy just yet. You see, we still have one more bag to open, and that is Janie's. Esteban has to decide if he wants to be with her after seeing her big secret. Her big secret. Did Janie fake infertility to break up with a boyfriend? Yeah, maybe. Was she arrested for maybe. having sex in a public restroom? Yes, yeah, leaning yeah. there. Or did she pawn her mother's jewelry to pay a gambling debt? She would. Seems like the least likely, but. He has just chosen Esteban here for an exciting date, but. The tables have turned, and now it's his decision. What's the secret in Janie's big red bag? Did she fake infertility to break up with a boyfriend? Oh. Next time, I guess or I can was skip she arrested before the for having sex in a public restroom. Oh. Or did she pawn her mother's I think Esteban to pay a is so debt? nice, but it Esteban. just boiled over in that car key. Of those possibilities, I'd like to know Which is the most troubling to you? Which is the baggage that is hardest to handle? The infertility one, just because it's happened to me. You know, somebody did that to me, and it was just uh -huh. kind of hits close to home. So yeah. it's that. And it was bad memories. Oh. And I just didn't think it was right. That's why okay. they're on the same episode. Janie, will you please reveal your baggage? Is it always the one they say worries them the most? Not always. Oh. Esteban, oh, I have a good explanation. 
Congratulations. I faked infertility to break up with a boyfriend. I mean, I think well, he's in anyway. Yeah. The guy that I was dating at the time, he was a really nice guy, but I knew it wasn't going anywhere. So I told him that I wasn't going to be able to, and he basically broke up with me. <laughs> How is that a good explanation? You just That's said exactly what you didn't give any. It's exactly what everyone assumed. It's exactly the what was a basic explanation was. Yeah, there's nothing more to it. Do you think that he said this happened to him? Do you think it was the girl that broke his heart? He's going to key her face right now. A lot of people's faces, if they were stuck in this position, would look a lot worse. Yeah, they So would. I want to give her credit for that. I mean, that's a tough. Yeah. <laughs> because I couldn't. Now <laughs> you know that if she ever told No explanation. That, now you heard exactly what you thought. <laughs> Good point. Good point. <laughs> that's what happened, and it's just part of my past, so. Is this How does she not know that that's not an explanation? That you can handle. I well, have a good explanation. It's exactly. I mean, what it's you're an thinking. explanation. It's not just not a good one. Well, um, I feel better listening to your explanation. And, you know, it makes mm. a lot of sense. He was in the whole time, but I just want to see that fucking that belly button. Close to me. You said it's a good, and you said it's a good belly button, right? He rips it open. That's the general Gets consensus. Down on his knees, rips the dress open. Sorry, Janie, but you have too much baggage. Oh. Wow. Huh, nice a handshake. You. I'm too Ooh. sorry. You have to pack up and go. Just Can okay, I at least thanks. have a hug? Oh, oh no. But thanks for being with us. How great yeah. was that? Well, we didn't make a match, but we had a good time. Janie and Esteban came with their baggage, but they're each going their own way. Why did he say we'll no to see her? See you next time. It was probably the card. Card trick. Really hits home. I have to go with my gut. Faking infertility is just not okay about my book. You know, it's happened to me in the past. I just don't agree with it. And I had to make a decision. I can't believe I actually picked him. And then at the end of it all, he actually told me to go home? I don't think ah, so. What do you mean you don't think I so? I don't it think so. It just happened. I don't think so. But it happened. And I can't believe it. Yesterday was Tuesday, and now it's Wednesday? I don't think so. I don't think so. And I, I don't even get why that's baggage. So, yes. 74. Uh, seven point eight ten.